Hello everyone, welcome to June's demo on how to use the KDIM web app. We have added a few new features and functionalities, so let's get this demo started. First things first, if you don't have an account with us, just go to get started. Standard sign up here. We ask for your Discord to automatically notify you when your generations are ready. If you already have an account, let's sign in. On the homepage, you can see your recently created assets, watch our latest tutorial video on how to use the app and look over our documentation. You can also join our Discord for one-to-one -one support with our team. To get started with your 3D model generations, head over to the Create page. Here, you can upload anywhere from one up to six images of the object or character you want to generate. Next, you can name your asset, input the height, and choose your generation quality. For this, we're going with high, as we want to capture a bit more detail than standard. While your model is processing, you can queue another generation. For this, we'll be using our new text to 3 d beta feature by going again to the create page and changing the input setting from image to text. Here, I'll describe the object I wish to create and a 2D image will be generated. Once I'm happy with the image, I can name my assets, add the height details and select the generation quality. Once your models are generated, they will appear on your home page as well as in your assets library. Here, you'll be able to scroll through all of your generated models. To view your model, just click on it. If you open our editor, you can access all of our tools. Here, you can use our new LODs functionality, allowing you to create multiple models at a lower level of detail for your current generated assets. You just have to input the target poly count for the new level of detail of the model. You can also use our new UV unwrapping beta. This automatically creates a UV map of your model and when it comes to download, this will be included in your file. As always, you can also compare your generation with the input image. You can check the dimensions of your model. You can view the wireframe of the model and check the topology. And you can color your model. Now, let's check our previous generations. In the card view, you can check the details of your model, such as the generation quality, poly count, height, and more. As with the other model, within our 3D viewer, you can also view the wireframe. You can request an edit by describing all the changes you would like to see in the model in as much detail as possible, highlighting the parts to be changed, and even uploading extra images to emphasize any specifics. Moreover, you can give feedback on your generated model for our team to view. We really appreciate this and take into consideration every single piece of comments that you leave for us. When it comes the time to download your 3D model, you can choose your preferred format and we currently support OBJ, FBX, GLB, GLTF, as well as USD. If you ever wanted to share one of your models, you can always do so by enabling the sharing functionality within the editor and copying the link. And finally, you can use our automatic texturing beta to either automatically project your input images onto the model or automatically apply vertex coloring. We hope that all of these updates are exciting and we can't wait to see what you generate. Thanks for watching and happy modeling.